One of the biggest changes in somebody's professional career is when you get promoted from individual contributor to a manager. Here are the things that will change. First, now it's not about your success anymore. It is about somebody else's success. An individual contributor makes sure that he or she works well. But as a manager, you're measured by how well your team works. So you must direct your attention to making sure that other people are successful. You must set goals for them and assess them for those goals. Another big change is that you can't complain anymore. As a manager, you have the authority and the duty to fix things, not complain about them. Sure, you'll bring up problems and you'll report about problems, but then you must turn around and do something about them. You also, as a manager, need to be able to plan and make commitments. Again, as an individual contributor, you will say, I'll do my best. As a manager, you need to be able to estimate how long it will take and with what certainty you'll finish the work in the given time. And you'll need to report that back to your boss and you need to commit to a deadline. And finally, as a manager, you have more people to work with. You have a boss as before, but now as a manager, you're expected to ask your boss every now and then what else you can do and how you can help him or her reach their goals. You have your team that you are now in charge of and you must take care of the team and make the team successful. Thirdly, you have colleagues, peers, other managers who work on other projects or other tasks, but you need to coordinate with them because there are many tasks that are, go across teams. When you become a manager for the first time, oftentimes it's a player coach role. So you are still a player, you still have your own duties, but you're also a coach, you're also a manager of other people. Then over time you may become a pure manager who only manages, then you become a manager who manages managers, and so on. And then you advance in, in the organizational hierarchy. And for every such level there are new tricks to learn, and some old tricks that you need to leave behind. The main point, however, is that Leadership is not something you can just take. You can't take it for granted. You can't take it. It can't just be given to you. You must earn it. And you earn leadership by making your team successful. And you make your team successful by making the team members successful.